Hi, boys and girls. Hi. Hi. Um, on day five, I think, right? Last day of the week. And uh, we decided to do um, another number talk and what do you notice? And so um, we want to look at this picture again and we want to press pause and take this time to think in our head, what do you notice? Okay, so if you notice one thing, put them on your chest. If you notice two things, put two fingers on your chest. Maybe you notice 10 things and put 10 fingers on your head. Okay, all right. So let's take a moment to see what we notice in this picture. Okay, put your, oh, Miss Yukimo, which notice says three things. Miss T notices one thing. All right, Miss Yukimo, which can you just share one thing that you notice? I notice that there are so many different flavors um, and of ice cream, but I specifically notice that there are one, two, three, four, five green colored ice cream. Mm. Flavors. Okay. Well, uh, could you explain um, where um, where these green flavors are? Yeah, they're kind of, um, they're in each row except for the first row. So there's one green flavor at the in the second row all the way at the end. So second row, if we were counting from top to bottom? Um, so yeah, if we, so the second row, if we were counting from left to right. Yeah, that one. We have one green flavor here. And then right down and then one across, like they're diagonal. Oh, diagonal. So another green flavor, another green flavor, and another green flavor. And so um, you found five uh, green flavor ice cream. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. And so there are many different flavors. And so um, I do want us to think um, about um, if we were, uh, if we had to choose what ice cream flavor we'd want to eat, mm. which one would you choose? How many scoops of ice cream would you have? And would you put on a cone or a cup? And I want you to tell me what you think the flavors are. So how about Miss T? Would you like to share what? I'm so glad you chose this number talk picture because I've been really craving ice cream and I haven't had any in a really long time. But um, I think I would have, I would choose that um, in the fourth row from the top to the bottom, I would choose the third ice cream right in the middle, the green one. Ooh. And what's my favorite ice cream is pistachio and I feel like that looks like pistachio. You know, it's interesting you say that because yesterday and um, the day before, me and my mom, we ate uh, pistachio ice cream and we we ate it all. So we don't have oh. to more for the rest of the family. So you would get one scoop of pistachio and then what else would you get? <clears throat> I also really like fruity flavors. Mm -hmm. And so I would also probably get the red one on the second row to the far left, because that kind of looks like watermelon. Oh, so you would get one, another scoop of watermelon and another scoop of- Something um, creamy stuff. and something kind of sorbet-like. Mm -hmm. Two scoops being enough? I mean, <laughs> I should only eat two scoops, but you know. And would you get in a cone or a cup? Ooh, definitely a cone. Okay, so there's Miss T's ice cream. I got two scoops mm. on, a, on a cone. Yeah, I want to walk. I'll put cone. it for tea. What about you, Miss Yokima? Which one would you? Um, I'm so happy about this one because I love ice cream. I can eat it all the time, all day. So I think um, the one that's right diagonally down. Mm -hmm. From Miss T's green pistachio flavor, I think I would get that one. Pistachio. So it's on the one, two, three, four, fifth row. One, two, second. three, four, fifth row. Um, the second scoop. This one, another okay. green one. And another green one. And I would choose this one because it looks like it's like a green tea flavor, and I love green tea flavor anything. Um, so I would get that scoop of ice cream and 
I would also get the really dark purple ice cream that's on the fourth row, the last scoop. This one? Um, the fourth row. The fourth row. One, two, three, four. The last one, scoop. Two, that row. three, fourth on the last. Ooh. This one. And what flavor would that be? I, I'm not sure, but I would think it's like lavender. One time I went to this ice cream shop in West Westwood and they had a lavender ice cream and it was really good. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm thinking maybe it was, it could be lavender. Okay, so you would get uh, one, what was this flavor again? Green tea. Green tea and then you would get a, a lavender. And yeah, the lavender one. And in a, in a cone or a cup? In a waffle cone too, just like Miss T. Oh. That's my favorite. Okay, so boys and girls, I want you to quickly share, um, you can comment what flavor ice cream you would get, how many scoops, and would you get in a cone or a cup? Okay, so thank you for sharing all that. Now, uh, would you say that each flavor is uh, uh, is uh, one scoop of ice cream? Yeah, I would say yeah. that. They look like one scoop, right? So how many scoops of ice cream do you see, and how would you represent that? as an equation. So press pause. So find a way, a strategy to count and see how many scoops of ice cream there are and or how many flavors. And then um, if you can um, share an equation to represent this picture. Miss T has her thumb up. Would you like to share? Yeah. <clears throat> so I noticed that um, there are five scoops in each row. And so I was like, ooh, I love my fives, and I would love to skip count by my fives to find out how many um, scoops I have. So I would circle the first row and say five. And you group this five. Mm -hmm. And the next row, 10. 10. And then 15. 15. And then 20. And 20. The 25 and then 30. Nice. So how many are there in all? There are 30 ice cream scoops in all. And how would I write that as an equation? Um, you could do five plus five. Five. Five plus five. Plus five. Five plus five. Plus five. Plus five. And one more five. Because there are how many rows? There are six rows. Okay. So if we oh. write that in a multiplication yeah, equation. That's what I was going to. Oh, great. There are six groups of five. So six times five equals 30. And if we do it by column, would it, would it be five groups of six? Mm-hmm. And that's how I did it. I did it by columns. Okay, could so, you uh, show us? So that yeah, so I skip counted. Um, so the columns, so the first column, which is up and down, um, is six. So that's uh, six. Mm -hmm. And then the second column is 12. So you know how to skip count by six, Ms. Yuki? Yeah, oh. impressive. That's one of my favorite ways to skip count because I think sometimes five is, a, is something that I know and so I wanna try a different strategy. So that one would be 15. Uh, so what's six more after 12? Oh, sorry, sorry, 18. <laughs> okay. 18 uh -huh. and then 24. 24. And then 30. 30. So that actually represents the six groups. I mean, sorry. One, six plus six. six um, plus six. Plus six. Plus six. So five groups of six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Which makes 30. So there are 30 um, scoops of ice cream in all. So yeah. boys and girls, I want you to come up a strategy, a way to group 
uh, or count how many there are and to um, write down an equation and um, you can um, submit it through Seesaw or you can comment below and um, yeah, we have 53 subscribers, so we're going up slowly, but thank you for subscribing and uh, please watch us for our next video lesson. Bye. Bye.